Hey, what is up guys? PMHK here. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about shipping and I'm gonna do so while I unbox something that just arrived from Take A Lot. Actually, the packages that are inside here are not mine. I got it for, I got one, I got the speaker that is inside for my dad and I got the other device that is inside this box for my friend in Angola. So, shipping. Somebody uh, asked me a question about shipping. I think most of you actually are wondering about shipping. Shipping is when you buy something overseas and they have to transport it to the side. It doesn't even necessarily have to be overseas. Let's say you buy it in another shop and they have to bring it to the side. So there is a shipping cost that sometimes applies at other costs actually. So his question was regarding buying something from eBay. So what he wanted to know was if he buys it from eBay, how long will it take to arrive here? and also what uh, what is duty duty that's a duty cost that applies it's normally called custom duties that applies when you buy something overseas so if you're buying from eBay you have two options as I always say you either get it get your package uh, through a, a third party which is a, a forwarder so you buy the package you will send it to the forwarder and then the forwarder will send it to you which is much much reliable to do than you using uh, the post office let's say you buy something from the states and they send it to the post office and then the states post office send it to the south african post office and that's when your package tends to take long because first of all they need to be cleared by custom and then they have to transfer to the post office and then the post office needs to actually send you a notification that your package has arrived in the country normally that can take you up to a month or so and sometimes they might actually lose <laughs> your package two options it's either you use a uh, forwarder and the forwarder i'm using is uh, my usa normally when i get things from overseas i use my usa to get my stuff this side and if I'm using them, the list that it take or the fastest that you can buy something, ship it to them, get from them to yourself is around a week or around seven working days. That's the fastest you can get the stuff. And that's actually, that's actually uh, what I would advise you guys to get. If you want to get something from overseas, don't, don't use the post office. And I don't think it's really the post office itself's fault, but it's the transportation. The guys that are in charge with the transportation of the stuff that come overseas to the post office are really not reliable. You might wait for your package for three, three to four months just to, for you to get hold of it. So let's just talk about the bit what's inside, this package. There's two items, as I mentioned before, inside the package. Ah, a lot of stuff from styrofoam. Wow. Okay, let's talk about the first one. The first one is a wireless access point. For those who don't know, an access point is normally used to extend the internet of a certain place. Let's say uh, you have a really big house and the uh, router that you currently have is not reaching all the areas. Normally they call it dead zone. That's the areas that the router doesn't normally reach. So if you have a lot of dead zone around the house, what we do is get an access point to extend the current Wi-Fi. This specific access point is a 450 megabytes per second wireless and access point from TP Link, if I'm not mistaken taken uh yeah it's from tp link and this thing cost around 750 quite affordable for an access point there are other cheaper ones but normally when i buy when i buy something online and i don't just go and buy i normally check the options that are available for me to get so i would look at the cheapest and the most expensive and i would get normally the one in the middle of those two prices that's normally what i used to uh, do when I buy stuff. So this is a wireless uh, access point for a friend in Angola which I'm not gonna really open but although I don't think it's gonna go in the box because this is just volume for nothing. So this is an access point that's all you need to know about this. And the second package that arrived is a Bluetooth speaker. This is a Bluetooth speaker for my dad. My dad wanted a Bluetooth speaker, so yesterday we went online on Take A Lot, not a sponsored video, uh, on Take A Lot to get him a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth speaker. So we had uh, three options to get from. We either would have, we were going to get the Charge 3, this is a Charge 2 that we got, either the Charge 3, the Charge Extreme, these are JBL speakers by the way, Charge Extreme or the Charge 
3. So in terms of pricing, this one was going for a better price and I don't think there is much difference between the Charge 2 and the Charge 3. The Charge 3 is the new that just came out. I don't know exactly when it came out, but that's the new that they are offering right now. So between them, this one is the one that was more affordable. This one was around a hundred and I mean a thousand six hundred and something rand. If I'm not mistaken, you can always go and check it out for yourself. So this is a water. Uh, it's a splash-proof Bluetooth speaker. You can actually have this next to the pool when you are listening to music. I don't think there will be any problem. Uh, this one I'm going to open because, I mean, as I said, it's my dad's, and I don't think he'll mind if I open and I show it to you guys what's inside. So. Uh, let's go through this one quick quick. Let me just not damage the package uh, Let's see if I can get this without destroying the package, but I don't think it's going to be possible Okay, let's destroy it. So let's just cut it open Okay, we are inside the box. I don't even think I opened it the right way. No, I did open it the right way So we are inside the box uh, Let's see what comes inside the box. We have the actual speaker it's actually not that big, eh? and these things are really, really, really loud speakers. They tend to be very loud. I tried one when a friend of mine, the same friend that actually I'm sending that uh, access point to when she was visiting here. Her name is Lucy. Shout out to Lucy. <laughs> I know she's going to watch this video. So I tried hers and it was really, really powerful. And what I like the most is, I don't know what system this is called, but this is the way the bass bounces off the interior of the speaker. I don't know if I'm doing saying it right, but it's really, really loud for a tiny speaker. Just for you guys to take a closer look to it, uh, JBL speaker. And you can also use this, I think that's why the name is called Charge. You can use this speaker to charge other devices. So you can charge your phone from the, the battery that it's inside. I think this is a 12 hour uh, speaker, so you can listen to music for 12 hours straight. And you can also answer your calls from here. And yeah, splash proof, as I said. So uh, we spoke about shipping. If you have any questions whatsoever about shipping, as my teacher back in high school used to say, no question is a stupid question. So just throw it at me uh, I don't promise to answer it right when you ask it but as soon as I see it I will answer your question and yeah not only about shipping if you have any question regarding tech or anything that I talk about in my videos just ask and I will try and answer you as soon as possible uh, you can also go and follow me on Instagram I'm mostly active on Instagram Facebook as well the links are always down in the description of where you can go follow me and this will be it for this video uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one peace